The word of the day today is hater. Every time that I'm a hater, a pop punk kid gets kicked out of Zoomies. Hey, how's it going? My name is Dan Frampton. Welcome back to the channel. Really appreciate you being here. And today I got to talk about something that I'm not very excited about. I want to be excited about it. I want to have my best nostalgia foot forward for this video, but I'm telling you, I'm about to be the biggest hater in the world because Disney is coming out with a pop punk record. They're getting Simple Plan, they're getting Newfound Glory, they're getting a whole bunch of other pop punk artists together to do renditions of famous Disney songs. That's how far gone the pop punk thing has become in the year 2024. If you thought pop punk couldn't sell out any further, you have no idea about a whole new sound. That's the name of the Disney pop punk record. A whole new sound. I can't believe what I'm about to say. If you're here within the first three hours of this video going up, I will comment back if you leave a comment. Test it out. Try me, sucker. So here we are on the Walt Disney <laughs> Company website, okay? And they're making a whole new announcement. Now, I am not a total hater when it comes to gimmick records. You know the whole Punk Goes series that died a couple years ago? Some good, some very, very bad, but I really appreciate the Punk Goes series. Punk Goes Pop, Punk Goes Crunk. It was all very fun stuff that was a novelty right out of the box, you know? You knew you weren't getting something of any substance. You were just ripping open this box to gobble down some bubble gum and just enjoying it for the way that it tasted in the moment. You weren't gonna revisit it when you went home. You weren't gonna tell your friends and family about this thing. It was just cool to hear like a metalcore band play a top 40 song. Punk Goes 90s, Punk Goes Classic Rock, Punk goes Brit pop. I don't know if that one exists, but that one would be great. So that's just a set of baseline that I don't totally hate punk rock gimmick records. There is a place in the market for gimmicks and novelties and that kind of thing. But I think that Disney sticking their whole nose into it might be going just a little bit too far. Look at what we got over here. Do you see this artwork? <laughs> you got Mickey Mouse, Donald, and Goofy dressed up so pop punk. You can tell they're pop punk because of the baggy clothes and the backwards hat. Oh, cool. Do you see like the brick wall? The ransom letters and the duct tape? Holy crap. Punk rock in the year 2024 has really jumped the shark if this is what I'm being presented with, all right? And you think that this is all we're being presented with? No, no, no. This thing has three teasers. Three little singles that came out from a whole new sound. One of them is kind of decent, okay? I won't be a total hater here, but two out of the three are absolute dog radish. We're gonna get into the entire track list in just a little bit, and believe me, I'm very excited to do it. But before we do, I'm just gonna show you a glimpse of the first three singles, okay? The first one they dropped was from Simple Plan. That's how you know we're off to a real bad start. Really, Disney? The first band you're gonna show us is Simple Plan? Well, that makes sense. They are kind of the most Disney pop punk band to ever exist, so yeah, sure, whatever. What song are they doing? Oh, can you feel the love tonight? Of course they are. And if you listen to this thing, which unfortunately I'm not gonna test it out here with the whole content ID bot and the copyright angels looking down over my shoulder, okay? But believe me when I say vocoded, believe me when I say auto-tune, it is all over this track. And it has like the simple plan guy acting like a big pop punk dude in the video, but he's singing a Disney song, okay? These are Disney songs. And I really want to have my nostalgia bones tickled over here. Can you feel the love tonight? Classic banger. But over the years, Disney has just proven to be the biggest, most evil corporation to exist in America. So it's gonna take something really special for me to kind of look past that, you know? And I don't think Simple Plan covering Can You Feel the Love Tonight is gonna make me look past all the evils and atrocities that are Disney. And only marginally better, the second single was Magnolia Park. 
eye to eye from the Goofy movie. You know that classic movie that really does mean a lot to my childhood? Well, when I listened to this version of this song, I didn't even recognize it. It didn't make me feel any sort of way, and normally I want to feel a certain way when I'm like doing the whole nostalgia thing, especially when it comes to a Goofy movie. This movie is incredible, and this Magnolia Park band, whoever the hell you are, you're pissing all over a legacy over here. I'm not a big fan of it. 541,000 views on this thing. I guess punk rock really is alive. So if people come up to you and they're like, hey man, punk rock is dead. You can be like, no it's not. You know that Disney is coming out with a Disney punk rock record. They got punk rock now. They got Star Wars. They got The Simpsons. It is all about the Disneyfication of everything you once loved. Everything that once had a soul. Everything that had a heartbeat at one time. Well, now Disney has it and they're gonna take a big old Cleveland steamer all over it. And then we'll get to the third single, which I want to say I like, but I can't go as far as saying that I like it. I just don't hate it as much as those other songs. It's Newfound Glory doing the song Part of Your World from The Little Mermaid. If any of these three songs you want to try to listen to for any enjoyment, this would be the one to do it. I'm not saying you're going to enjoy it. I'm not promising anything. But I just appreciate their take to the Disney song better than those other bands over there. But if those are the three main bands, those are the three singles coming out, what could the entire track list look like? Can't be that bad, right? Newfound Glory, obviously. Remember Me from Coco by Mayday Parade. A whole new world from Yellow Card. I am very interested in hearing that one, if I'm gonna be honest with you. Go the Distance from Hercules by We the Kings. Plain White Tees, Meet Me at the Altar. That's actually kinda huge for Meet Me at the Altar to be on this compilation. That's big money moves for a new young band. Kind of excited about that, actually. Not gonna be a hater about that. And then to close it off, we got You'll Be In My Heart from Tarzan by Boys Like Girls, Colors of the Wind from Pocahontas by Tokyo Hotel, Let It Go from Frozen by Lolo, and the final song, the closer, Friend Like Me from Aladdin. I think that's a great closer for sure, but I would have really loved to have seen at least a Jungle Book song in here. No Jungle Book. Jungle Book has some of the best songs going, and no Jungle Book representation unbelievable there is a good chance this is gonna suck a whole lot of ass especially with no jungle book can you believe there's a disney pop punk record coming out with no jungle book representation what would mowgli think those early movies do have some bangers some absolute bops are found in those movies and yeah i would put on the corporate blinders to listen to awesome songs performed in this new way if it was exciting but judging from these first three singles i'm not so excited about it i mean sure i could have went into this with a little bit more of a positive attitude but i want to hate on something and i think the disney pop punk record is a safe enough thing to hate on as anything else disney pop punk and f you i mean not f you you're awesome all right you made it to the end of the video thank you so much end gang if you need more content i put something up on my other channel earlier today where i talked about the mr beast situation so if you need some frampton slop head over to the frampton slop channel right now but until my next upload on one of my three channels watch another upload okay bye for now